it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday go 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 shorty it's your birthday i'm gonna party like it's my welcome back to my channel this is mary and your girl and i am super excited to be here today oh it's my birthday and i am super excited if you were new here you're welcome if you were my subscriber i really do appreciate you so it is with such excitement, such happiness, that I bring to you These are 10 tips that should tell you, or should bring you about that This man is taking you right to mama very soon So you have to start preparing yourself You need to start getting your shredder ready You need to start calling up your friend, telling them Oh baby, I'll soon go to Nigeria these are things that you should watch out for whenever you see the signs. Do you understand? Your Nigerian man is about to take you to mama. Okay, if you don't understand that. Your Nigerian man is about to pop the question. Okay, I'll go again. Your Nigerian man is about to marry you. Mm -hmm. Tip number one. That your Nigerian man is going to actually, actually marry you and marry you very very soon he introduces you to his friends and families you know what we nigerians family is everything for us so when a man starts dating a woman he doesn't bring you to his family no he dates you outside he does everything he does with you outside he takes you to his house his own apartment he can take you to his apartment he can take you anywhere he can take you out in he can take you to the moon and back but he never takes you home you know why okay family is very 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 important to a nigerian not just a nigerian man but a nigerian woman as well so we are actually uh i would say uh, family oriented you understand we we, we 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 are family people everything that we do we want to our family to be in support of everything that we do so that when a man starts seeing you and he's just dating you he's still in the dating phase you know still trying to decide if you're a wife material or just a girlfriend material he doesn't bring you close to his family he doesn't bring you close to his friend it's just you and him but when this guy decides hmm, oh yeah this is my wife material it's time to introduce you to all and sundry so he introduces you to his friends he introduces you to his family he introduces you to anyone who cares to know who you are and he tells them yeah this is my baby so that is number one sign to watch out for number two sign to watch out for that your nigerian man is about to take you home to mama or is about to pop that question is the fact that he talks in future terms with you you understand when you're with your man and you people try to talk about the future you talk about the future for example you say babe you know what um i was just thinking what kind of house would we like to live in what kind of what kind of car would you like to drive would you like to have uh, one baby or two babies you know he starts to talk in future terms with you and if he's not into you and he's not about taking you anywhere when you say things like that he's like oh come on baby he just cuts you off but the moment he starts to flow the moment he's the one introducing future terms into what you guys are doing for example you're just chilling somewhere you just see a family strolling with their babies and they're so funny and they're talking and laughing and doing lots of nice things and he says to you baby i would like to have one of those with you by the 
way, how many kids would you like to have? Oh Lord, you're about to go to mama. <laughs> oh, somebody say yeah, you are about to go to mama. This is sign number two. He talks in future terms with you. He talks about the future with you. He talks about what you like to have, what you want to be, or what your dreams are, what your aspirations are. This guy, hmm, he's popping the question very soon. Believe me, that Nigerian man, he's going to pop that question. He's going to take you to his mama. Believe me, believe me when I say so. He's going to take you to his mama. Sign number three to watch out for that your Nigerian man is gonna take you to mama very soon is he loves, 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 loves to help you out in things that you do. Of course, our Nigerian men are not trained to do house chores. They only trained to do, you know, some little manly things around the house which doesn't include the things that the ladies actually do. But sometimes you see them trying to help you out, if they wanna, you understand? The moment you see your man trying to help you out around the house, trying to help you uh, do some things in order for you to, you know, finish your fast, he cares, like, he starts to help you out. He tries to help you around the house, tries to help you finish your house chores so that you both can have time and hang out and do something else. Of course, trust a Nigerian woman. If she's not done with her house chores, she ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we're taught like that. So, of course, he wants to hang out with you, so he starts to help you do the chores because he knows that the earlier you finish, the better for him so he starts to help you out around the house that's sign number three he cares he's trying he's trying to help you finish fast so that he can have some time some me time alone with you so that's number three that your nigerian man is about to take you to mama sign number four that your nigerian man is about to pop that question or is about to take you to mama is the fact that he doesn't go out to receive his calls yeah that's true he doesn't go out to receive his calls a nigerian man doesn't like to you know talk private in the presence of his girl except he's very comfortable with you or you're special to him or he now sees you as his family. These are the three reasons that will make him sit comfortably and receive his calls. And those calls, I'm talking about calls from family. He will not stay in front of you and receive his calls. Calls from friends, from, sorry, calls from mama, from daddy, from siblings, no. Or calls discussing his family issues, never in front of you but the moment he starts sitting in front of you receiving calls from his siblings uh maybe trying to settle some issues with them trying to advise someone against doing something or not doing something as far as there is a family issue involved and he is taking that call in front of you oh my god you were closer to the altar than you think you were very, very, very closer to the altar than you think. Oh, in spirit of my birthday. So, come on. Excuse me. No one should ask me not to feel this way. There is something we'll say. Today na my birthday and I go do shakara. Eh? Today na your day do shakara. Eh? Eat and try and go for yakata. Let's go ahead. Sign number five. That your man, your Nigerian man, is soon taking you to his mama and soon taking you to altar. Remember, if he's taking you to mama, he's taking you to the altar. So do not get it twisted. If I say taking you to mama, I also mean taking you to the altar. So signs that your Nigerian man is taking you to the altar number five. He invites you to visit him in his family house. <gasps> oh my goodness. He invites you to visit in his family house with his mom and dad present. It's done. Okay, no, hold on. Not really done. 
tiny little bit of done and then you visit his mom and then he walks out to go be you know like 10 minutes of absent time just leaving you for his mom to scrutinize just leaving you at the mercy of his mom and he comes back to see his mom smiling and happy and even after you leave his mom is still happy and the next time you go visiting his family his mom is still very happy and receptive to you oh my goodness you were closer than you think you were done you were this is the done deal you were done you were done this is a done deal mama loves you <laughs> he loves you most importantly mama loves you siblings love you he's done he loves you he's gonna take you home yeah he's gonna take you to the altar soon so next tip that your nigerian man is taking you to the altar tip number seven he keeps encouraging you to try out some nigerian delicacies he keeps encouraging you to try out cooking some nigerian delicacies or also to try out eating some nigerian delicacies you know how food is to a nigerian man you know how much a nigerian man loves a home cooked meal i can never overemphasize this issue of cooking of making him a warm home cooked meal he loves it he will never joke with it he wants to come back home to a warm food that you have prepared yourself so when you see him encouraging you oh baby this food is so nice this is my traditional food can you try some do you like it he's trying to encourage you to love this food because if you love something then you want to try to learn how to cook that thing right so he's trying to encourage you to learn so that you can cook it because he knows that soon you are going to be together. He's encouraging you to learn this because if you love this food, then you will learn to cook this food. And of course, he will be happy to come back home to a warm, nicely prepared Nigerian delicacy from you. So when next you see him encouraging you, oh baby, please try this food, oh baby, would you like to eat this? just go ahead give it a try because this is his food this is something that he will keep on eating this is his delicacy this is what he knows or what he was born into so he's trying to to you know you know make you love something something that you both can actually share that you both can actually enjoy together so that you can both enjoy having it together so when next you see him encouraging you to eat something or prepare something from his own uh, from his own uh, delicacy, like Nigerian delicacy, do not be discouraged. Please go ahead, give it a try. Try to eat it. Try to cook it. He just wants you to learn so that at least you can, you know, cook something like that for him, and he'll be happy to eat it. That's tip number seven. So tip number eight: that your Nigerian man. Is soon taking you back to mama he loves 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 to pray with you naturally we are very religious people everything we do anything about us is religion oh god god is in the center of our lives so it is not an understatement when i say to you that we wake up praying and go to bed praying almost every day so when you see a nigerian man who loves you at night comes to you and says baby let us pray let's commit this night to God on the morning baby join me let's pray my goodness that's such an endearment he has brought you so close that right now he feels like you are the same imagine inviting you to pray with him it just means that oh there is nothing more to hide from you he can as well pray with you that's it so this is one motive that your Nigerian man is about to take you to the altar what number am i oh lord i actually lost count 
Okay. So another tip that your Nigerian man is about to take you to mama is get worried about every little thing that happens to you. <laughs> when a Nigerian man is in love, like, you may feel like his care is choking you. He's like he's choking you with care, with love, with everything. He keeps pampering and pampering you. You know why? Because he loves you. Because a Nigerian man is so, so very expressive. Yeah, he's very expressive. You know why? Because a Nigerian man is a confident man. Yeah, that is so true. Nigerians, they are very confident. So, when he loves you, he doesn't think about showing how he loves you. He's so confident to show his love. He's so confident to show that he cares. Just sneeze. Just one little thing happened to his love and he's everywhere. His love is sick. He's everywhere. He may even stay with you the whole day. That is it for your Nigerian man. Finally, the last tip to tell you is taking you to mama and taking you to the altar is when he constantly, him, his family, constantly refer to you, the lady, as their wife. Especially when they have made up their mind that they are going to marry you. And a friend asks, oh, who's that? Oh, have you met my wife? Oh, have you met my wife? And his mom will be like, that's our wife. Everyone is our wife, our wife, because you're getting married into the family. The family sees you as they just hold on, relax, sit back and wait for that day in which he pops you that question. And remember to drop a kind word, because you know why? It's my birthday. Come on. Hmm. So, let's talk about me. What are you gonna give me? It's my birthday. What's my gift today? Alright, I'm not gonna ask for much. Just in the usual manner. Stop. Come on, tap on it. Tap on it already. Come on. Just subscribe already. Thank you for that birthday gift. I do really appreciate you. Until I come over again with something very, very juicy. Stay blessed. Stay happy and have a happy day. Go on, go shawty. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Go on. Give me a birthday gift, by the way. Thank you. It's November 10th today. So whenever you get this video, I made it on November 10th because it's my birthday and I am super excited today. Bye-bye.